Hello friends, this video straight line part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight line part 1 to part 19. The question says, you have to find the distance of the line 4x minus y is equal to 0 from point 4 comma minus 1 measured along the line making angle 135 degree with positive x. Please note, we are not supposed to find perpendicular distance here. We are supposed to find a line which the length of the line along a particular angle. So let's see this. Let's suppose this is the angle line that is 4x minus y is equal to this is the line. Let's suppose. Now we'll draw this line here. The line will be something like this. So let's suppose this angle is 135 degree. Correct, this is positive x axis. This equation is this is L1, 4x minus y is equal to 0. Now from point 4 comma minus 4 comma 1, let's suppose this is 4 comma 1. From 4 comma 1, we want to find the length of this distance d. From this to this p. Let's suppose this is p. This is q. We want to find pq. We want to find length of pq. pq is something which we have to find. The question is pretty clear. This is the equation L1. 4x minus y is equal to 0. There is a point 4 comma 1. We want to find the length of this distance from q to p if you go at an angle of 135 degree. So here what we can do? We know equation of this line. If you can find equation of PQ and then we can find a common point between PQ and L1, we'll have this point P, we have this point Q, we can find a distance. Let me repeat. We have this equation of lines L1. We know the slope of line PQ. We know one point also in point line PQ. So we can find the equation of line PQ. So once we have equation of line PQ and once we have equation of line L1, which is already given, we can find a common point between L1 and PQ. Now we have point P, we have point Q, we can find the distance. Let's try that. So first find the slope of line PQ. M of PQ is nothing but tan of 135 degree and that is nothing but minus 1. We know this. We have learned this in. So we can find the equation of the line. The equation of the line is y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught. So equation turns out to be y minus, these points are given, 1 is equal to minus 1 into x minus 4. So what we get is y minus 1 plus x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus y is equal to 5. This is the equation of line PQ. This is the equation of line PQ. So I can write here, this is nothing but x plus y is equal to 5. Now we have these two equations, we'll just find a common point. So we have 4x minus y is equal to 0 and x plus y is equal to 5. We'll add this equation, we get 5x is equal to 5 or we'll get x is equal to 1. We'll put this value of x equal to 1 in this equation, we get 4 into 1 minus y is equal to 0 or we get y is equal to 4. So that is x y we have equal to 1 comma 4. So the point p is nothing but 1 comma 4. That is clear. Correct? We have got the point q. Now the distance d between p q is nothing but root over x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. We know this formula. So this is equal to root over 4 minus 1 square plus 1 minus 4 square. So this is equal to root over 3 square plus 3 square that is root over 18 is equal to 3 root 2 and that is our answer. Very simple what we have done. We knew this point we knew the slope of line PQ, we knew this point Q, we found the equation of line PQ, 
we have equated this equational line PQ with line L because we wanted to find the common point P. We found the common point P as 1 comma 4 and then we have found a distance between P and Q that turned out to be 3 root 2. Little tricky question. It says that assuming a straight line works as a plane mirror from a point, find the image of point 1 comma 2 in the line x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to Let's draw this line first. So what we can do here is we know the point P, we can find the slope of line PQ because we have the slope of line L1 and L1 is perpendicular to line PQ. We can find the slope of line PQ using slope and one point we can find the equation of line PQ. We know the line PQ equation, we know the line L1 equation. The common point is this let's suppose R. We find the point common point, we have R, we have P, we can find the Q. because q plus p by 2 is equal to r. So let's find first the slope of line pq. So m or first find the slope of line l1. So l1 we can write this equation as x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 or we can say 3y is equal to x plus 4 or we can say y is equal to x by 3 plus 4 by now, m of L1 is 1 by 3 because y is equal to mx plus c is the equation. You compare both the equation, you will find that m is equal to 1 by 3 for line L1. We know that m of L1 into m of pq is equal to minus 1. So, we can say that m of pq is equal to minus 1 by m of L1 that is 1 by so this becomes minus 3. So we have slope of PQ. We can now find the equation of PQ. PQ equation we are finding. That is y minus y0 is equal to m into x minus x0. This turns out to be y minus 2 is equal to m is minus 3 into x minus 1. That is the equation we have got. Or we can say y minus 2 plus 3x this is minus 3 is equal to 0 or we can say y plus 3x or you can say write in this form x 3x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0. This is the equation of line pk. 3x plus y minus 5 is equal to 0. Now we will have to find common point that is r. So that to find that we'll have to equate line L2 and PQ. Let's do this. So it says that x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. This is line L2. And PQ is nothing but 3x plus y minus y is equal to 0. So let's multiply this equation by 3. What we get is this is same x minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. I'm just rewriting this. This becomes 9x plus 3y minus 15 is equal to 0. You add this, you get 10x is equal to minus or 10x minus 11 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 11 by this is the value of x. Similarly, if we put the value of x in any of the equation, for example, we put the value of x in this equation, we get 11 by 10 minus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0. Or you solve this, this becomes 3y is equal to, this you add this, 11 by 10 plus 4 into 10 is 40. So 51 by 10. So this becomes 51 by 10 or we can say y is equal to 51 by 30 and in cancel this becomes 17 and this becomes 10. So here 
y is equal to 17 by x. So we have the value of x and y. So this is nothing but x is 11 by 10 comma 17 by 10. So now we have this value. Now we have to find the value of q. To find the value of q, what we can do is we can just go to the next line. This was the line we had. This is p. Sorry. Yeah, this is q. This is r. Right? p is 1, comma 2. And r we have got is r we have got is 11 by 10, 17 by 10. 11 by 10 and 17 by 10. Let this q be x, comma y. Since this is the actual reflection, so QR will be equal to RB lengthwise. So we can say that R is nothing but Q plus P by 2, correct? Or Q is equal to 2R minus P. Q is equal to 2R minus P. So find the x, qx will say 2r, 2 into 11 by 10 minus p equal to 1. So that is something 22 by 10 minus 10, this is 12 by 10, that is 6 by 10. Similarly, qy is nothing but 2 into r is r of y is 17 by 10, 17 by 10 minus this is 2, this is 2, p of y is 2, that becomes 34 minus 10 by 10, that is 24 by 10, that is, sorry, this is 20, so this is 14 by 10, that is 7 by 5. So we have the value of q, q is nothing but 6 by 5 comma 7 by 5 and that is our answer. What we have done here is we had this line L2 and we were told that there is a point P we have to find the image of this point P and that is Q. So this line PQ is perpendicular to line L1. So we first found the equation of PQ. We could find it because we had the slope of PQ and we had this point P. Now we equated this equation L1 and equation of line QP, we got the value of point R and that is 11 by 10 and 17 by 10. Once we got the value of R, we have the value of P, we wanted to find the value of Q. Then we use this formula, R is equal to Q plus P by 2 because QR is equal to QP. Since this R point is dividing line QP into two equal halves, so we can see that r is equal to q plus p by 2. So we got point q as 2r minus p. So we found qx, qy and that is 6 by 5 and 7 by 5. Here we have to show that. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.